What's up, friends? Rich Discovery is coming at you from the parking lot at the shop here, and I got another great discovery for you. This thing is beautiful. Um, it's a project that was done a long time ago. I like it the way it sits. It needs to be redone. Well, it needs to be freshened up a little, but this was uh, a hot rod that was done years and years ago. It sat in a barn for a while, and now it's ready to be freshened up. But check this out. The other Tri-5 series. Look at that. 55 Oldsmobile. At least I'm pretty sure it's a 55 front end I think with those oval lights in the grill is a 55 or not lights but the oval chrome in the grill is a 55 look at that got the fake side pipes on it which I think might actually have a cut off to make it real we'll check it out it's the back of it this thing is gorgeous you, know, you can see somebody already did it up years back put the antenna holes in it and stuff but I like the way it was done Got those old Oldsmobile hubcaps on it. You know, definitely needs to be freshened up, but I like it the way it sits. It's got those cool custom mirrors on it. Let's get a look at these side pipes and see if they're real. I mean, obviously they got the plate blocker, the blockers on them, but... Oh, yeah, look at that. They sure are. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's cutoffs, yep. There's cutoffs right there. So that's the exhaust. And then that is the side pipe. So all you got to do is pop that cover off, and you got yourself uh, some pretty kick-ass side pipes. <laughs> I like it. It's a new uh, new ramp truck here. It's a nice addition to the shop. Look at this thing, huh? Let's get a look at the other side. There it is from this side. I like that Oldsmobile emblem in the front. Isn't that cool? North and South America? <laughs> That's pretty cool looking, whatever it is. I guess the continents. What a beautiful car. See, I don't know too much about these. I was more of the, uh, the Chevy guy. So I don't know too much about the Oldsmobiles. I'm going to get a look at the emblem too. I love those things. Anything from the jet age was really cool. And Oldsmobile was big into that stuff. You know, with their rocket motors and their jet emblems. and They were big into that stuff. Yeah, look at that. Oldsmobile was big into the uh, the jet age or the atomic age. That's just gorgeous. I love that. There it is from the front. Yeah, you can see there was some custom paint work done to it many years ago. Still looks good though. A little faded, but still looks cool. And here's one of my favorite areas of any classic car. I've always loved classic interiors. Just the style. The chrome, the, the look, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at all that chrome. It literally wraps around you. And somebody made a Schlitz shifter. That's cool. Look at that, huh? I can't hold it still from here. Look at that gauge. The instrumentation is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. 9,000 on it. Might be 109 on this car, though. But just look at that. Look at these switches. All metal switches, so dangerous, but so beautiful. <laughs> That's the problem with these things. When you got into an accident, you know, your knees went into those things. And the steering wheel. Let's get a look at the other side here. Try to reach over. Come on, focus. Focus. There it is. I mean, look at that style. It's just for a clock. Look at all that chrome. That clock alone has more chrome than any modern car radio a little glove box in the center there what a beautiful car though isn't it all right let's back out of here get the what's that the hood latch or e-brake that might be the uh hood latch on this one i don't know or the e-brake release who knows probably the hood latch i thought the hood latches were underneath these things out front and if anybody knows better than me you tell me like i said i'm not big on the oldsmobiles i really didn't know that much about them yeah there's a can't see it too well but it's a shot of the Primitive chassis of the day. It's got that frame with the, the X frame, whatever they call it. The, the frame's got the big X in it. Little spring pack. <laughs> got those old style tires on it. I know a lot of these shackles, this one doesn't have it that I could see, but a lot of these older shackles used to be greasable back in the day. All spider webs from sitting. Did some sitting, but that's all right. It ain't sitting any longer. 
or it is not sitting any longer. Sorry about that. It's uh, it's about to be back out and see the road again. Experience life on the open road like it once did many years ago. But that's it. That's today's discovery, today's video. I just wanted to make a quick one. I haven't made any good car videos in a while, so this is at the shop. This is going to be going through a redone. Um, like I said, it'll be back on the road soon. Make somebody happy. Wow, I just love looking at that car. These things make me so happy. I love old stuff. But thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. It's Rich Discoveries. We got stuff like this. We got abandoned stuff. We got trains. We got everything. Whatever we discover that day, that's why we're Rich Discoveries. But thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, let me get you a good moment of serenity here. I guess just this whole setup would be a beautiful moment of serenity. Thanks for watching, friends. Have a great day.